Welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of several Tudor history books. Now, I'm taking you back to the reign of King Henry VIII today. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 10th of February 1542, Catherine Howard, King Henry VIII's fifth wife, was taken from Sion House, where she'd been kept since November 1541, to the Tower of London in preparation for her execution. Her lady, Jane Boleyn, Lady Rochford, wife of the late George Boleyn, had been taken to the Tower the previous night after having been nursed back to health by the King's own doctors in the home of Lord Admiral Sir John Russell and his wife. Jane had apparently shown symptoms of madness following her arrest in November 1541. The two women had been accused of treason following investigations in November 1551, which had uncovered the fact that Catherine had slept with Francis Derham before her marriage to the king, and that she'd had secret meetings with one of the king's own servants, Thomas Culpepper, during the royal progress to the north, helped by her lady, Jane Boleyn, and that the two of them intended to have a sexual relationship. Catherine's employment of her former lover, Derham, was also taken as proof that she wanted to renew her relationship with him. Chronicler Charles Risley records Catherine's move to the Tower on this day in 1542. The 10th of February, the Queen was had by water from Sion to the Tower of London, the Duke of Suffolk, the Lord Privy Seal and the Lord Great Chamberlain having the conveyance of her. Eustace Chapuis, the imperial ambassador, also recorded Catherine's journey. Some days after, that is to say on the afternoon of the 10th, the Queen, after some difficulty and resistance, was conducted to the tower by the river. The Lord Privy Seal, with a number of privy councillors and a large retinue of servants, went first in a large oared barge, Then came a small covered boat with the Queen and four ladies of her suite, besides four sailors to man the boat. Then followed the Duke of Suffolk in a big and well-manned barge with plenty of armed men inside. On their arrival at the tower stairs, the Lord Privy Seal and the Duke of Suffolk landed first, then the Queen herself, dressed in black velvet with the same honours and ceremonies as if she were still reigning. So, Catherine was escorted by Charles Brandon, Duke of Suffolk, William Fitzwilliam, who was first Earl of Southampton and Lord Privy Seal, and Robert Radcliffe, first Earl of Sussex and Lord Great Chamberlain. Catherine's journey along the Thames would have taken her under London Bridge, where the heads of her former lover and her sweetheart, Francis Derham and Thomas Culpepper, had been displayed on pikes following their executions in December 1541. In fact, an imperial ambassador visiting London from mid-1545 to spring 1546 wrote of their skulls still being there then. Horrible. A bill of attainder against Catherine and Lady Jane Rochford had been introduced into the House of Lords on the 21st of January 1542 and it received royal assent on the 11th of February. According to this bill, the women were guilty of treason and could be punished without there being any need for a trial. Something else which received royal assent in the House of Lords on the 11th of February was an act for due process to be had in high treason in cases of lunacy or madness, This meant that a person becoming insane after the supposed commission of treason might be tried or losing his rational faculties after attainder might be executed. So even if Lady Rochford didn't recover her faculties, she could still be executed. Henry VIII was determined to punish these women for the humiliation and heartache they'd caused him. The legislation regarding insane people and high treason was repealed in Mary I's reign by the Treason Act of 1554. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 10th of February 1567, Henry Stuart, Lord Darnley, husband of Mary, Queen of Scots, was murdered. 
You can find out more about him and what happened to him in my video from last year, which I'll give you a link to in the description. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe by clicking round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as videos go live. You can, of course, give me a like and leave a comment, but I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.